We got a developing story here on SportsCenter. Raiders head coach John Gruden under fire for sending an email with racially charged language back in 2011 about NFL Players Association President Damara Smith. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Gruden wrote that Smith had, quote, lips the size of Michelin tires. Gruden told the journal he doesn't recall writing the email, but did apologize, saying, quote, I'm really sorry. The NFL issued a statement saying that the email from John Gruden denigrating Damara Smith is appalling, abhorrent, and wholly contrary to the NFL's values. We condemn the statement and regret any harm its publication may inflict on Mr. Smith or anyone else. At the time, the NFL and its players were in the midst of a lockout. Gruden was the lead analyst for ESPN's Monday Night Football, a position he held until taking over the Raiders in 2018. As we now are joined by Paul Gutierrez, and I know that you actually had an opportunity to speak with John Gruden recently. What did he have to say? Yeah, El, it was an interesting conversation considering that he, he still reiterated that he apologized for, for the email, but didn't really recall writing it in the first place, but that it's obvious that it happened. Uh, he said at the time, he probably wasn't in the best frame of mind because he was so frustrated with the lockout going down. He felt he was never getting uh, the full honesty, the truth in the negotiations of what was going on at the time. And his explanation for using that phrase was that he would always refer to someone that he caught lying as rubber lips. So, you know, and he also said, you can take that however you want. So he took it from there. He apologized again, uh, said he had already talked to his team. He had talked to uh, uh, Raiders owner Mark Davis, uh, expected to talk to him again after the article came out. And uh, I asked, do you expect any type of, of punishment or penalties? And he said, you know, I have no idea. I hope not. So it just kind of goes from there. All right, there it is. Raiders reporter Paul Gutierrez with the latest on John Gruden, speaking with him after he apologized for calling Demora Smith. Kevin, uh, Michelin lips, as you read here, a, 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 a statement from Damara Smith. Right. He said, Ellen, part racism like this comes from the fact that I'm at the same table as they are, and they don't think someone who looks like me belongs. I'm sorry for my family that they have to see something like this, but I would rather they know I will not let it define me. NFL senior writer Jeremy Fowler joins us now. Jeremy, coincidentally, Damara Smith in the news his job as executive director of the Players Association potentially in jeopardy. Smith has held the position for the past 12 years. The NFLPA's executive committee voted to a 7-7 split earlier this week, leaving his job status in the hands of the NFLPA's 32-team player reps. They have a, a call scheduled for later tonight. We want to take a look at some of the key issues that have been decided on on Smith's watch. His fingerprints all over the latest CBA the players ratified last year. That allowed for the league to expand the regular season to 17 games, as well as the playoff field. Under the current CBA, salaries and benefits have increased in addition to rosters, practice squads, and the player share of league revenue. Smith holds a lot of power, Jeremy, so why is he in danger of being replaced? Well, the executive committee feels like they're just split on the new CBA. They're not happy with some of those changes that you mentioned. They felt like maybe this is a long time coming that Smith would get a little bit of pressure. So I'm told as of right now, 6 p.m., there's a conference call going on with the player reps of all 32 teams. D. Smith needs two-thirds vote in order to take a potential contract extension to that executive committee among the members that voted against him. So this is complicated on many levels. I know there will be some no votes against D. Smith tonight. How many is the question. We don't know yet, so we're monitoring this as it's going on right now. Could be an hour-long call. Could be some news tonight. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.